Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hi, you guys. I'm Crosby Loggins, and we're hanging out at the Guitar Center on Sunset in LA. Gonna check out some classic guitars and uh, poke around a little bit. We're here, of course, with Crosby Loggins. You may know him from MTV's Rock the Cradle or from his band Crosby Loggins and the Light. Now, MTV had to do a little bit of coercing you to get to do the show. I really take music seriously, and I didn't think that a reality television show was maybe the best way to get heard. But, it, you know, it was a great time and a really incredible experience, so I'm glad I did it. My signature sound is um, rooted in old school singer-songwriters. The main thing that um, I've known for with my fans is sort of dabbling in a lot of genres. Now, you went to Hawaii for a while, spent a little time there to sort of distinguish and individualize yourself. That was an incredible experience. It was a couple of the best years of my life. Just picked up carpentry and spent um, some time building houses and getting to know a slice of life that was really far from what I grew up with, uh, with a famous father and everything like that, and kind of life on the road. To the Rock Walk, our newest inductee, Mr. Kenny Loggins. I remember him going down to do this. Like, uh, I'm going to LA. What are you doing? Get inducted into the Rock Walk. Thank you. Your average Saturday. Thank you. Grew up around some music legends. Do you have one memory that really stands out? I, I, I was convinced that uh, Michael McDonald was Santa Claus until I was eight or nine. So he was always bumming around the house, and Santa's damn good at playing the piano. I'll tell you that. Crosby Loggins in the Light. How did you guys come together, and when? They were kind of spread all over the Central Coast, and we're just a bunch of buddies who started playing music together a few years ago. You're keeping busy, but what do you like to do when you have downtime? Well, I live in Santa Barbara, California one of the most beautiful places you could live and so I'm spoiled rotten I, I really like to go down to the beach and you know work on my studio tan a little bit. Now you said that you have everything you want but you want to make a difference. I was involved with some organizations that help bring music education back to public schools. Um, those programs are gone now. I know you've met a lot of legendary artists. Is there one that you haven't met that you really want to meet? Recently I met Snoop Dogg and that kind of like did it. You can't get a whole lot higher than that, you know, literally. It was like my crizzle and I was like, ah, I don't even know what to say to that. That's not even, and nobody's ever called me that in my whole life. No, he, he wouldn't say that and now he hates me. Forever. You know how I would really love to meet Jeff Tweedy from Wilco. A wall of wood. I own about seven or eight guitars, I think, at this point. Just love the old check finish and everything. Obviously. Oh, this Costello box. I played a guitar on Rock the Cradle that was probably worth about 12, 13 grand. And I thought it sounded a lot less good than the one I played the night before or the week before, which was worth about three grand. So this is actually a 68 Dove, and this is um, known for the graphic here on the, on the pick guard. I got so much to do. And I thought I could sing in the band But the Grammys, they ain't playing my songs And Mr. Oscars, an old evil man